Hello everyone. I'm, go I'm going to explain how to to edit and run and profile uh, a CUDA program using Insight Eclipse of NVIDIA into a remote server with a GPU uh, NVIDIA card. So the first thing that you should do it is execute the git command with your personal email and your name. After that, uh, you should uh, execute inside. You have to choose a workspace. Let's consider the standard one. The next step is we have to create a, a, a project. Let's call Hello CUDA test 2. Test 2. It's an example. Uh, we choose a toolkit, the one that we have. Okay. Due to the NVIDIA uh, 1050 GTX that we have on the server, we are able to compute with uh, the capability of the CUDA, that is 6.1. Here we have to add the server that we, we will work on, that is this one. Here we are able to choose the architecture of the CPU. I will choose the natural one that is the x86 of the 64 bits. So the next step is create a, a new source file. the new source file the source file let's call hello cuda.cu finish here I will choose I will insert a, a CUDA program that I wrote as an example the simplest one Is this one later on uh, we should uh, indicate where we will work on it okay first we have to save okay later uh, we should we have to tell that we will work on my computer that is the synchronization I will work on the local, okay? And uh, in order to build, I will build also in the local. But if if I want to to do a uh, running on the remote, we have to synchronize uh, make the synchronization. So, but first we have to build the project. Okay. Later that is built, it's important to say that we have to synchronize everything. So, but we have to say where should be the, the path where we should do the synchronization. So, So the the uh, we have to do the remote. Here I have to say where I should do 
the remote uh, connection so here I have to choose Uh, the application that is this one okay now it works so the next step is do the the profiling as a remote okay here is the profiling we can also make an analysis of the of the GPU and the threads and so on and finally if we want to do the debugging you too now it's working the x11 on the server we have to stop it in order to do the the remote debugging but now just to do an example I will do the local Okay, this is the local, but this is the only part that we have. And okay, this is all. So if you want to do, I don't know, here the modification, it's an example only five. So I have to, to build the project. Later I have to synchronize everything and later we have to, to run as a remote. Okay, 